Allah loves you so much that though every single day, every day, you are disobeying Allah or you might be every other day disobeying Allah in whichever way you might be doing it. Don't forget, the same Allah still feeds you, the same Allah still gives you drink, the same Allah still keeps pains away from your mouth, from your teeth, from your body, from your ligaments. The same Allah cures you, the same Allah makes you have friends and whatever else, financial stage. The same Allah does all that for you. Why? Because that Allah loves you 70 times more than your own mother in your own house. You know, I just want to share something with you. We had in my uh, academy, Safar Academy, we just had recently a youngster who passed away. How, how old was this youngster? This youngster was 13 years old, 1-3. I used to see him walking every day, every weekend, because we have a weekend month. Every weekend he used to walk in and go back out. Two brothers used to come. One's a bit younger than him, about 10, 11, and this one's 13. All of a sudden, this is shock to the whole community. A 13-year-old, gets a pain in the stomach and he complains they go to the GP the GP sends him straight to hospital for an appointment by the time he's got there and they, they try to diagnose what he's got he's passed away inna lillahi wa inna lillahi. you can imagine the, the effects on the family 13 the boy's just turned mature and he's passed away then you know visit the family and so on and I, like I usually do when I visit a family after they've had someone passed away, I usually tell them, I say, make dua to Allah. Oh Allah, show me my relative, my son, my brother, whoever it is, show me them in my dream, in a good way. So this will happen, what, about maybe five weeks back from today. I just got a text this morning. This morning when I woke up, the first thing I saw on my phone, was his text message. And in there, it was from the mother. And the mother said, I had a dream last night. She was very excited. At Fajr time, she sent the message. I saw this dream. And I saw my son in my dream. And I saw him very happy. And I said to him, son, are you okay? He said, I'm completely fine, mom. I'm, this is a dream last night. A dream last night. So I'm not giving you some ancient story here. I'm very happy. And don't worry about me, mom. I'm being looked after. Mother said, are you okay? The kid took out two things in front of him. He said, you see this alif, ba, ta, tha, jim, ha? Yeah, you know the letters of the alphabet. You see alif, ba, ta, tha, jim, ha? That's how much you love me. But see this surah of the Quran, that's how much Allah loves me. This is last night, this woman saw this dream. She contacted another person through to me. What is the interpretation of this dream? The interpretation of that dream is what? It's that your mother's love for you, no matter how much it was, is just letters. That's all it is. Letters, random letters. You see a D here, you see a P there, random letters. Random letters don't have any meaning. Do you agree with me? You see an E there, you see a V there, it doesn't mean anything. They're random letters. But when you put words together and you make a sentence, now it's got some true meaning, yes? Yes or no? Come on guys. Yes, even your name. If your name is, you know, I don't know, Abdul or something, then it's A is separate, is nothing. B is separate, nothing. D, U, L, separate, nothing. But when you put it together, it spells a name. It's got a meaning to it. It shows you what it is. Allah's love compared to a mother's love, which can't be really compared. It's like a single letter to, to an entire chapter that has so much meaning to it. And he's telling his mother not to worry because that's how much Allah is loving him. Allahu Akbar. 
my brother, my sister, you know, Allah Azza wa Jal, He is waiting for you to come back to Him. He loves you. He has never deserted you. You've deserted or I might have deserted Him. I might have deserted Him, but Allah has never deserted me.